So in this mold, I've started off with my little gold nuggets. And I think I showed you in another video how I made those. And I've used some UV resin and I've placed it in the middle and formed my shape. And then I'm going to cure it under the lamp for a couple of minutes. And then we can move on to adding the rest of the resin. So I've used three colours for this piece and I've used two greens and a uh, white. And the first green is um, an ivy green and it's a pigment paste. And the other colour is a leaf green and it's a mica powder. Then I've added a pearl white mica powder as well. And what I wanted was just a little bit of greener along the edges and I wanted the um, centre bit to be quite transparent because I want those stones to peek through. So what I did was in the clear is I added just a little touch of ignition dust, which has a kind of a holographic green sparkle to it. And it went really well with this color combination. Now, when it comes to putting the bands of color, you can put as, an, as thick a band as you want. I went for quite a thin band um, because I wanted there to be more uh, transparency in the center. But if you wanted it to be a little bit more opaque and for all those colors to kind of work its way into the center, you, know, you make those two bands or even the three bands much thicker. So it's all done now. It's all worked its way into the center and stopped moving. And I've got some um, gold powder there. And I'm just going to dip a clean brush into it and um, literally dip the clean powder straight into the resin. And I like this effect because it does kind of mix in with the resin and leaves a little trail of that gold. And that'll just give it a little added detail.
So this is the coasters dried and um, this is how they've come out. And they look pretty good, but I thought I would do a top coat. And before I do a top coat, of course, I wanted to bling it up because I just thought, well, it looks a little, it looks lovely. But it could do with a little something else, a little pizzazz. So what I decided to do, and you're not going to be surprised about this, I'm almost sure, is I've added some glitter. And I've just added it around the edges because as you can see, I've already, I already started putting some gilding on the edges and sort of on the top there. So my intention is just to go around with some glue there, put some of that glitter on and the glitter I've chosen to go with it is ooh, shamrock green to go with the malachite. So I'm, I sort of chose two or three and I felt that this was the nearest match to it. So I've got my glitter glue. And I will go around as gently as I can. Just a thin layer, just outside of that line. All the way around. And then with a brush, quite a thin brush, a soft brush, just taper it to the shape that you want. And I'm going just along that edge there. All the way up there. So there, you can see. Then I will be adding the green. All the way along. Shouldn't need more than this. Tap, tap, tap. Blow the excess off and that's what you get. So I'll do the same for the third one, for the fourth one. And then I'll be doing a top coat on it. So I'll put it back inside the same mould, snugly as I can. There we go. Make sure there isn't anything that needs to be cleaned there. Kind of touched my hand on that bit, so I'll take a little bit of alcohol and clean it off. And that bit there, I must have got a stain on it. So the best thing to do with that is just to sand it off. Do not worry about it being scratched. As you'll see some magic happen when we actually put another layer of resin on the top. around with the stick making sure 
get into the little nooks and crannies and up to the edges. So this is the next day, and I'm going to unmold them. There's one, there's two, and there's the thread, and the fourth. So this is how they've come out. This is completely protected, which is a great idea. I don't seem to need to do much retouching on the edges. Um, sometimes when you put them in, back in the mold and do a top coat, they kind of flow down the edge, but there's, it's not that bad. And this is the sides. And I like that they're quite transparent, so this is the reason why I haven't done any gilding along that edge, and only along that edge. These are the others. So there I might do a little bit of regilding because it's kind of the glitter has spilt over. But that's the general idea. And um, as I've always said for these um, coasters, when you're using a heat resist or any type of resin, do wait a good couple of days before you actually put anything warm on them for a full cure because I know it says on the bottle 24 hours cure but that's the initial cure and I found that you might need an extra 48 maybe even maybe even a week it all depends on circumstances of um, your house your room the heat that's going around or if it's colder where you live etc so if you're not sure just contact the manufacturer and they'll give you an idea so there we go I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial um, I wish you all a great week everyone keep safe Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye.